Hey guys, welcome back to my series Inside My Micro Bakery. If you're new here, I'm Lily and I run my own small business micro bakery called Lily's Loaf in South London. But if you've been following the journey for a while, you'll notice that I'm not in London right now. I'm actually in Bally Castle in the very north of Ireland. And wow, I'm so excited to be here. As you may know, I was on the hunt for work experience in London, but because everyone's so busy, it was quite difficult to organise that. So I decided to get in touch with a couple of my favourite bakeries in Ireland. And I've actually visited two of these bakeries before um, because half my family are, are actually from Ireland. So my dad's side of the family are from Belfast. So I've got lots and lots of family over here so we visit we don't visit that often but when we do um it's always really lovely and we get to see little bits of the country too um so yeah so i am in ireland it's sunday today and i'm here until friday um so i've got two days booked at ursa minor not booked but you know what i mean i'm gonna be doing work experience with their team for Monday and Tuesday and then I've got a day in between to get from the north of Ireland, the very very north, all the way down to Greystones which is just outside Dublin to be with the Happy Pair in their bakery. Um, I'll probably be with their main baker Danny um, but yeah I'm just so excited to be here and actually to be doing work experience for the first time in a bakery because I've never done it before. I've worked in a cafe before, um, but that was just like front of house work. And I've n always kind of put it off slash been quite nervous about it just because of my food allergies, because they are so severe. I've always thought, oh, it's probably a pretty bad idea for me to be in the same environment as all of my allergens, but I'm just gonna see how it goes. and. I'm just here to learn. I'm here to learn more about bread. I'm here to learn about um, pastries, like croissant dough, everything. Like, even if I were to just be in the same room as the bakers, I would honestly be so happy just to like sit and watch. Um, but hopefully there will be some like hands-on stuff too. Yeah, welcome to the video in Ireland. Nice change of scenery for you guys. It's gorgeous, gorgeous weather. It's very sunny and life is good. Feeling very, very happy and grateful to be here. And yeah, I'm gonna sign off here and just try and relax, maybe have a shower, warm up a bit, um, maybe do a bit of yoga. Yeah, but I'll see you in a little bit. guys so it's 5 20 in the morning uh, and it's my first day uh, I've been up since just like 5 to 5 just getting ready um, yeah this is what I'm wearing <laughs> my Baker Chef trousers and just a plain white long t-shirt and a vest underneath and then this little headband so yeah um, but I will check in later Not be first time for you. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so I'm back from my first day of work experience at Ursa Minor Bakehouse and it was great. It was so much fun. So I set my alarm for five to five this morning. I woke up at like 4.20 already in a panic that I was already late. Um, but I just went back to sleep for another half an hour and then turned up around the back entrance at half five in the morning um, to meet Alan, who is one of their bakers. He specializes in Viennoiserie. And so we 
went in, I didn't take that many videos, I'm sorry, but I'm like the main thing is I'm there to learn. And um, we started off first with sourdough. Um, so Ursa Minor use, they just made the switch to 100% world farmed flour for all of their sourdough, which is incredible. Um, and it was really cool for me to use like some of their other flowers because I, you might have seen on my channel that I use just their T150 wholemeal for my, one of my sourdoughs, for my whole grain sourdough. Um, but yeah, they, I mean, they use 100% wild farmed, which is fantastic. Um, just because they decided that that was the best quality flour and the best tasting bread that they'd made. Um, and they wanted to make that change. And in terms of the environmental impact as well, it just makes so much sense. So yeah, that was pretty cool and something that I didn't realize that they'd done. Um, I think it's been a fairly recent change, but they've been testing it over the course of about a month until they were happy with the loaves that they had. Um, but as the miner, they really, they care about the quality of ingredients, the quality of the finished product. You might be able to hear now, like my nose is still a bit bunged up and I got like an itchy throat just when there was like some milk powder in the air. Um, cause I am that sensitive, but I'm glad it was all okay. I wore gloves and I was able to shape the croissants. So yeah, I learned how to shape the croissants and shape pan of chocolat and some morning buns too. Um, and the morning buns were made with the waist cutoffs from the croissant dough, which is amazing. That was only like a tiny bit that was left. Um, and yeah, so we did that in the next stage while during the bulk fermentation part of the sourdough process and then we shape them and they have a very particular shaping method so it took a little bit of time to get used to it but I think I've kind of I'm slowly getting it and I'm sure like the more that I do it the better I'll get at it um so yeah it'll be interesting to see how they turn out tomorrow and I think we'll definitely be able to tell the difference between mine and Alan's but hey ho that's just practice and that's all part of it yeah it just seems like a really lovely setup and a lovely team I mean it was only me and Alan today which was incredible because it was like completely one-on-one -on -one and a very like hands-on um and I could ask so many questions and um just like learn really so I've just been awake for quite a while and I need to get these cogs going <laughs> um but yeah it was it was great and I'm excited to go back tomorrow and meet the rest of the team. Hey guys, so I've just been to the rope bridge called Karak Arid um, and it's so, so beautiful here. Um, the sea is just incredible and it's just so calming as well. Um, just being by the sea, I just love it so much. So, I mean the only downside is I was waiting on a bus for about 45 minutes and then to get here for a 15 minute journey. And then as soon as I asked when the next bus is back, she said in about two and a half hours. So I don't know, I, as soon as I get service again, I might just double check to see if there are any others. Um, but if not, I might just get a taxi, just see how much it is. Because I really don't want to wait like another hour and a half or so. Um, but yeah. How beautiful is this?
amazing. Hey guys, so I'm back at the apartment now. Um, I finally made it back from the rope bridge. I'm very hungry, so I'm gonna make a really early dinner. I just went to the local butchers and got myself some lean uh, steak mints. Oh no, I just got like the lean mints, just like beef mints. And I'm gonna make myself a little spag bowl. Um, Cause it's just what I wanted. But yeah, I thought I could do like a little cooking with Lily type thing, uh, <laughs> just cause I'm on holiday and why not? So yeah. But because I don't have the best knife here, they're just kind of in that sort of shape really. Okay, that is ready. I'm just gonna whack it in all at the same time. Normally I'd probably sweat the onions first, but can't be bothered with waiting this time. And ordinarily I would uh, salt this, but I don't have any salt here, so I'm just gonna use soy sauce um, for my seasoning later on. Yes, so we've got some Italian herb seasoning, got some ketchup, essential for a good bolognese. So I'm kind of using that instead of chopped tomatoes. Um, I just prefer the flavour of like passata or, sorry this isn't passata, this is puree. I prefer the flavour of this. Um, and just like how you're not getting loads and loads of lumps of tomatoes, I just think the flavour is more concentrated when it's puree or passata. And then I'm also going to add in my seasoning, so I've got the soy sauce that I bought. So a fair amount. Okay, so this is what it's looking like right now. I'm just going to turn down the heat a bit. So that's bubbling away a bit too quickly for my liking. So yeah, that's how it's looking. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just going to let this cook down for maybe half an hour or so. Um, if I had more time or if I was more patient, I would probably cook it for way longer. Here's the finished product. So we've got the spag bowl sauce in there. I just added some frozen veg as well because I'm only here one more night and I kind of want to use it up as much as possible. And then I've got my pasta cooked in there and then some brock on the side. So I'm just going to mix it in together. the finished product oh my god it looks so good wow yum I'm excited to tuck into this mm. oh it's good guys it's so good mm. wow this was literally like all I wanted all day and this is just fabulous. Mm. Right, I'm gonna enjoy this now. And um, I'm gonna sign off here. I think I will check in tomorrow after I've had my second day work experience and see you then. guys so it's the next day it's Tuesday now so I've just finished my second day of work experience at Ursa Minor Bakehouse and had a great second day Alan was on the ovens um, and all of the bread turned out 
pretty lovely and I've got something to show you actually, hang on. So, here, I mean it is wrapped up, um, but here is my, this is called the Ferro Loaf, Ferro Saldo. So this is a mix of wild farmed wholemeal, country white or TAT, um, and a mixture of seeds. And I can't wait to try it. So yeah, this is called Ferro from Latin meaning wild. Um, but yeah, that's that's my takeaway home. And, um, and yeah, so that happened first of all. So the ovens were already on by the time I arrived at half five. Um, my first job to do was to mix the country white that they do for tomorrow and then mix the mixed loaf, um, which is a, like 50-50 wholemeal white um, flour loaf, sourdough loaf. So yeah, that was quite a lot of pressure just making sure that I had all of the right quantities. Anyway, after the bulk, we then scaled it all down and chopped and did the pre-shape and then did the final shape after a little bench rest. I tried a little bit of focaccia, which was amazing, nice and salty, very dark, like really dark bake. Um, and then today the cafe was open too because it's closed Sunday and Monday, open Tuesday to Saturday. So it was nice to meet more of the team and we got a couple of coffees, which was lovely. And yeah, it's, it's just such a, such a special place. Um, and a really nice atmosphere and quite a few of the locals were in so it's just nice to see how the business operated when it was open. They are putting in so much hard work and so much good um, quality ingredients from the local area as much as possible and um, creating a lovely space for their local community and even people travelling from far and wide too. Um, so yeah, if you're in Northern Ireland, definitely, definitely head up to Ballycastle and yeah, see, see what they're all about because they're producing some gorgeous, um, very honest, uh, lovely, delicious produce. So yeah, really hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you soon for part two of my uh, micro bakery vlog on tour, bakery stage type thing. Yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.